Hi kids, I still miss you. I hope you're still having fun with your families. So we're gonna keep learning about trees and rainforests, and we're gonna read this book, The Rainforest Grew All Around. Um, so we're gonna read about how the rainforest grows all around one of those big K-pop trees. Are you ready? Oh, and this is by Susan K. Mitchell. And this is a singing book, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. The Rainforest Grew All Around by Susan K. Mitchell. Okay. On the ground there fell a seed, the fluffiest seed that you ever did see. Do you see the set seed down here? It's real fluffy. You can see it fell on the ground. And the rainforest grew all around, all around. And the rainforest grew all around. Okay. So in a rainforest, we know that there's lots and lots of plants and lots of animals. Do you see some of the animals there? We know that so many plants and animals live there because there's lots and lots of rain in the rainforest. Remember how it rains every day? And from the seed, there grew a tree, the tallest tree that you ever did see. The tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. Do you see that the tree, look, from the seed, there grew a great big tall tree. And you can even see over here, it shows that the, the big K-pop tree can be as tall as a building, as tall as a skyscraper building. And in the tree, there lay a jaguar, the spottiest jaguar that you ever did see. The jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground. And the rainforest grew all around, all around, and the rainforest grew all around. Do you see the jaguar? The jaguar is laying up there. The jaguar spots help them um, jaguar spots help them to hide in the rainforest shadows. And they spend their days um, dozing, sleeping on the tree branches. And then at night they wake up and hunt for food. Being able to climb up in the trees help the, helps them hunt for food even up in the trees. And near the jaguar, there was a vine, the curliest vine that you ever did see. The vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground. And the rainforest grew all around, all around, and the rainforest grew all around. You see how the rainforest has so many plants that those vines are growing and going, uh, wrapping around the trees trying to get up to the, to uh, get some sun. And by the vine, there was a boa, the greenest boa that you ever did see. The boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. So this is an emerald tree boa. They're green. And there's another book that parents can check out called Verdi that, um, that has a green, uh, an emerald tree boa in it. Oh, and the boas, they wrap around the tree branches and they squeeze things. They're called a boa constrictor because they squeeze. And by the boa, there crawled an ant, the busiest ant that you ever did see. 
the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around all around and the rainforest grew all around so these ants are called leaf cutter ants leaf cutter ants climb high into the trees and they clip off the leaves they cut off the leaves with their um, jaws and the ants pick up and carry the leaves um, underground to their underground nest where they eat it. They eat the fungus that grows off of the leaves. And near the ant, there was a sloth, the slowest sloth that you ever did see. The sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. Do you see the sloth? This is a three-toed sloth. He's got three, uh, three long claws that helps him hang upside down from the tree branches. And sloths are very, very slow, very slow. And by the sloth, there was a bromeliad, the prettiest bromeliad that you ever did see. The bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the grain forest grew all around, all around and the rain forest grew all around. So bromeliads are plants that can grow on top of other plants. And look, it doesn't hurt the tree. It can grow there without hurting it. They don't have any roots. They can just grow right there on top of the tree. And in the bromeliad, there was a frog, the brightest frog that you ever did see. The frog in the bromeliad and the bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. So do you see this frog? Look, remember the bromeliad can, uh, can catch water and make a little puddle, a little pond in, in the middle. And uh, some of the frogs go in there. This is a, a poison dart frog. And something really cool about poison dart frogs, they lay their eggs in a safe place to hatch, so under a leaf. And then after hatching, you see over here, the daddy, um, the daddy poison dart frogs carry their tadpoles. Do you see their little baby right there? The tadpole. To they carry them to separate bromeliad ponds, little little um, uh, puddle or pond inside the bromeliads, so that each tadpole will have enough to eat. And by the frog, there sat a toucan, the funniest toucan that you ever did see. The toucan by the frog and the frog and the bromeliad and the bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. Do you see the toucan? Look, he's got that large beak, doesn't he? He's got a huge beak and he uses that large beak to pluck fruit from the trees, to pick fruit from the trees. You see how he can hold it in his, um, in his beak like that? And near the toucan, there hung a bat, the sleepiest bat, 
that you ever did see. The bat near the toucan and the toucan by the frog and the frog by the bromeliad and the bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around all around and the rainforest grew all around. So you can see, do you see the bat? So this is a fruit bat. So look right here, he's eating a fruit called mango. And you can see the, the bat, so he's actually furry. Um, so he is not a bird, even though bats can fly, they're not birds, they're furry. They're the only mammals that can fly. Mammals are animals that have fur and have um, live babies, they don't have eggs. Like, bat, uh, like birds. So this bat, um, he goes out and he hunts for food at night, for mango, right? Hunts for fruit at night. Um, and then during the day, he sleeps hanging upside down from his feet. And by the bat, there was a pod the highest pod that you ever did see. The pod by the bat and the bat near the toucan and the toucan by the frog and the frog in the bromeliad and the bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground. And the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. So the flowers of the kapok tree turn into large hard, uh, hard pods that burst open and then the tiny, tiny little fluffy seeds inside the pods are covered with white fluff called kapok. And when the wind blows the kapok fluff um, and the seeds off to make new trees. And from the pod, there blew a seed, the fluffiest seed that you ever did see. The seed from the pod and the pod from by the bat and the bat near the toucan and the toucan by the frog and the frog and the bromeliad and the bromeliad by the sloth and the sloth near the ant and the ant by the boa and the boa by the vine and the vine near the jaguar and the jaguar in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, all around and the rainforest grew all around. Yay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Do you see? Can you find the jaguar? There's the jaguar. Can you find the boa? Remember the emerald tree boa, the green boa? Yep. He's a snake. Can you find the toucan? Yep, there's the toucan. The bird, the toucan with the large beak, large colorful beak. Can you find the slow sloth? There's the slow sloth hanging upside down. Can you find the leaf cutter ants? There's the leaf cutter ants. They're hard to see. And I was trying to find the bromeliad. Um, I think the bromeliad, there's the poison dart frog. So I think this must be the bromeliad plant right there. Okay guys, I'm gonna send you something to see if you can find all the different animals of the rainforest. Okay, and that's the end of our book. Bye.